Ever wonder how the holiday of Easter began? Well, let's hop into a time machine and journey back to the roots of this widely celebrated occasion. Believe it or not, the origins of Easter are not shrouded in pagan rituals as some might suggest. The term Easter itself is derived from early English words used by the Anglo-Saxons for the month of April. The early English word for April was Eostromoneth. This period was dedicated to the goddess Eostri, who symbolized the awakening of nature after winter. However, this doesn't mean that Easter's origins are pagan. The naming of the holiday is purely a matter of linguistic evolution, not a homage to any deity. The Christian interpretation of Easter took root in the first few centuries AD, commemorating the life, crucifixion, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a time of reflection and renewal, tied to the Jewish festival of Passover. The specific days of Good Friday and Easter Sunday were chosen to mark the death and resurrection of Jesus, respectively. But you might be asking, why aren't there three days between Good Friday and Easter Sunday? Well, the answer lies in the ancient Jewish understanding of a day, which began at sunset and ended at the next sunset. Sunday ended on Monday evening at sunset. So in this context, the period from Friday sunset to Monday sunset can indeed be viewed as three days. The date of Easter isn't fixed like Christmas. It's determined by a system set by the Council of Nicaea in the 4th century. It's typically the first Sunday after the first full moon following the vernal equinox, aligning the celebration with the cycles of nature. As we journey through time, we'll see how Easter has evolved from its religious roots to incorporate secular elements like the Easter bunny, eggs, and candy. These additions, while seemingly unrelated to the resurrection of Christ, have their own interesting histories and symbolism that we'll explore in the upcoming scenes. From these early beginnings, Easter evolved into a celebration observed worldwide. So, stick around as we unravel the fascinating transformation of Easter from a solemn religious observance to a joyous celebration of life, renewal, and yes, even chocolate eggs. In the realm of Christianity, Easter holds a special place. It is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, a pivotal event that forms the foundation of Christian faith. Easter follows the sorrowful remembrance of Good Friday, marking the crucifixion of Jesus. This day is chosen because it aligns with the biblical account of Jesus' death on the day of preparation before the Jewish Sabbath, which begins at sundown on Friday. But why Easter Sunday, you may wonder? The Bible recounts that Jesus' tomb was found empty on the first day of the week, which we know as Sunday. Hence, Easter Sunday signifies Jesus' victory over death, showcasing his divine power to grant eternal life. As we delve into the religious symbols of Easter, the cross stands out as the most potent. It represents Jesus' sacrifice for humanity's sins, demonstrating his love and mercy. The Easter lily, with its trumpet-like shape, is another symbol that blooms around Easter time, representing Jesus' resurrection and the promise of life after death. Another interesting aspect of Easter is its date. Unlike Christmas, which is celebrated on a fixed date, Easter is a movable feast. It's scheduled on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox. This method of calculation aligns with the Jewish Passover, keeping in sync with the biblical timeline of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. The Christian celebration of Easter is a profound recognition of sacrifice and rebirth. It's a time of joy, a time to renew faith, a time to remember that love triumphs over all, even death itself. What does a bunny have to do with Easter, you may wonder? This fluffy creature's association with Easter is a fascinating tale that takes us back to medieval Christian Europe. The Easter Bunny's origins are intertwined with the unique breeding habits of the European brown hare. These hares have a biological quirk. They can be pregnant with a second litter even before giving birth to the first. This phenomenon, known as superfetation, gave the impression that these hares could reproduce without mating, a concept known as parthenogenesis, or virgin birth. In a time when symbolism was a powerful tool for communicating complex ideas, this perceived virgin birth drew parallels with the Virgin Mary, who, according to Christian belief, gave birth to Jesus while still a virgin. As a result, the humble hair began to appear in religious artwork, symbolizing the miraculous virgin birth. Over time, the hair was replaced by the bunny, a creature more familiar to many European communities. 
The bunny, usually depicted as white, came to represent purity and innocence, reinforcing its association with the Virgin Mary. In the context of Easter, a holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus and the promise of new life, the bunny became a powerful symbol. It represented not just the Virgin Mary, but also new beginnings and the renewal of life that spring brings. As the centuries rolled on, the Easter bunny hopped its way into popular culture. It began delivering decorated eggs, another symbol of new life, and later sweet treats. This tradition was carried by German immigrants to America in the 18th century, where it flourished and evolved into the Easter bunny we know today, a charming figure that hides Easter eggs and brings joy to children around the world. So, while it might seem odd that a bunny has become one of the most recognizable symbols of a major Christian holiday, its origins make perfect sense. The Easter bunny, a symbol of purity and new life, has been a part of Easter celebrations for centuries. From eggs to pretzels, Easter is full of symbolic elements. Let's crack open the history of these Easter hallmarks, starting with the egg. The egg is a potent symbol of fertility and rebirth, which aligns perfectly with the resurrection theme of Easter. But do you know why eggs are associated with Easter? Well, they were traditionally given as gifts at the start of the Lenten fast, and due to their long shelf life, they could last through the duration of the fast. When the fast ended, breaking into a fresh egg was a tangible way to celebrate the end of Lent. Over time, these eggs took on deeper meanings, with their colors symbolizing various aspects of Jesus' life and death. Red eggs, for instance, represent the blood of Jesus, while green eggs symbolize rebirth and new life. And let's not forget the thrill of the Easter egg hunt. This tradition originated from the idea of finding new life encapsulated within the egg, just as Jesus was found to be alive on Easter Sunday. Now, have you ever wondered about the beautifully intricate designs on some Easter eggs? This is known as Paisanki, a traditional Ukrainian egg decoration technique that's also celebrated in many Orthodox Christian churches. Each pattern and color in Paisanki has a special meaning, from protection against evil to the promise of good health and prosperity. Moving from eggs to pretzels, yes, pretzels. This twisted bread has a place in Easter history too. The pretzel's unique shape is said to resemble arms crossed in prayer, making it a fitting symbol for this religious holiday. So from the vibrantly dyed eggs to the humble pretzel, these symbols add depth and richness to our Easter celebrations. They remind us of the holiday's historical roots and allow us to engage in meaningful, time-honored traditions. The next time you bite into a pretzel or participate in an Easter egg hunt, remember the centuries of tradition behind these simple acts and enjoy the spirit of renewal and rebirth that Easter brings. Easter isn't all about history, it's also about fun and traditions. The first Easter candy, for instance, dates back to the early 19th century. Chocolate eggs, a treat many of us look forward to, first made their appearance in Europe. The Fry family of Bristol, England, created the first chocolate egg in 1873. Now, can you imagine an Easter basket without these delicious delights? The tradition of the Easter egg hunt has origins that are just as sweet. It began as a way for children to join in the Easter fun. The Easter bunny would leave eggs for them to find, turning the day into a joyful game. This game has evolved into the Easter egg hunts we know and love today, with children eagerly searching for eggs hidden in every nook and cranny. Speaking of the Easter bunny, it's fascinating to see how religious symbols have transitioned into secular ones. The Easter bunny, once a symbol of purity and virgin birth in Christian art, has become a secular symbol of spring, a mascot, if you will, bringing joy and fun to the celebration. Now let's sprinkle in some fun facts. Did you know about the Fabergé Easter eggs? These were intricately designed jeweled eggs created by the House of Fabergé in Russia. The first one was made as an Easter gift for the Russian Tsar's mother in 1885. These eggs are not only an epitome of craftsmanship, but also a symbol of luxury and opulence. And if you're impressed by the Fabergé eggs, wait till you hear about the world's biggest Easter egg. Located in Vegreville, Alberta, Canada, this gigantic egg weighs a whopping 5,000 pounds. Now that's a lot of chocolate. As for popular Easter candies, the Cadbury cream egg holds a special place in many hearts with its rich creamy filling and chocolate shell. 
It's one of the top-selling Easter candies, and it's not hard to see why. From its deep historical roots to modern-day festivities, Easter remains a cherished holiday worldwide.